How's it going? Today I'm going to try and show you how to free up some space on your iPad. Um, this works for any generation iPad. Actually, well, actually not any generation. This generally works for anyone running iOS 11 on their iPad. So, um, this is my iPad Mini that I'm currently recording on. As you can see, it's a, six, it's a 16 gig. And we know this by about... It tells you capacity right here. It tells you capacity is 16 gigs. So, as you can see from that, I've only got 1.99 gigs. So, if you're running iOS 11, you're not familiar with most of the settings for it. What I'm going to show you involves something known as iPad storage. Now, basically what this does is this tells you exactly what is being used or what is taking up the space on your iPad. As you can see, it gives you recommendations, review large uh, attachments, and it gives you a list of the apps that are taking up the majority of the space. Um, as you can see, um, my iPhotos is taking up a, pretty much most of the gigs of my iPad. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the photos from my iPad. Now keep in mind, this is, uh, these are, um, these are um, photos that are not directly on my iPad. These are just photos that I have stored on my iCloud, which I can view on my iPad. There's no photos on my iPad whatsoever. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to iPhotos, and you see where it says Documents and Data, and what we're going to do is we are going to go back, oh, as you can see, we're going to go scroll down from the right, and we're going to go to where it says Photos, it'll be the, all the way down past General, Accounts, Passwords, you'll see TVs, you'll click on Photos, and what you'll see is it'll say iCloud Photos. Automatically upload and store your entire library in iCloud and access it from pretty much any iOS device you have, including your iMacs, you know, Apple TVs. What we're going to do is we're going to turn that off. So what's going to happen is, as I turn that off, this is the screen that it gives you. Download all photos and apps, remove them from my iPad. Now, depending on how large of your volume of your photos that you have, generally if you're trying to remove photos from your iPad and you already have them in iCloud, then basically what you're going to do is just literally remove them. So, as you can see, it says these items will still be available on other devices using iCloud Photo Library. So, say you have an iPhone and you have iCloud Photos enabled on that, basically all you're doing is just removing it from one device while still being able to look at it on your other devices. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove that from the iPad and then basically what it tells you is that this is what's stored and the videos from my will be removed from this iPad. These photos and videos will remain in my iCloud. So remember, what I'm doing is I'm removing anything that I have currently on my iPad from my iPad. It doesn't mean that it's permanently deleted unless I delete it physically. So all this is going to do is it removes it from my iPad and lets me keep it in the iCloud where it originally was in the first place. So we hit remove and turns it off. And then what we do is we go back into our general, go back to iPad storage, and as you can see, I have... Um, iCloud photos, recommendations, um, I have 16, now I've got 13, say 7.5, automatically upload and store your entire library to iCloud, which I just turned off, and then um, save one by, this will permanently delete, so I can use that, I can empty anything that I've currently got, anything that I was going to delete, was already deleted, and then I will enable offload uses app, basically what this means is that any app that I want to use, if I want to save space, then I can offload the data off of it. It still saves the data on the app, but it just offloads it for uh, offloads it for as long as you need to offload it. And then you can re-enable it, and it will re-add that data back on. So basically, this is to say I want to offload apps um, from my um, DJI Go. What it does is it just basically frees up space, but keeps the documents and data. Means the only app will back up your data if the app is still available in the App Store. So basically, offloading is different than deleting it. If I delete it, basically everything that I had on it, depending on what your app you're using, will either be stored in the iCloud, which generally most apps will be, or um, if the app is no longer supported, once you delete that app, then that app and everything that you had on it, unless you had it saved, will be gone. So we are going to enable offload, and then basically what it does is it gives me an attachment of everything that I have that's using space, and then I can delete it if I want to or not. 
So basically, as you can see, if I enable iCloud libraries, what it will do is it will enable you to enable uploading all your photos and videos. It takes some time. So basically, if I enable that, then that will basically store everything back that I had on my iPhone or on my iPad on my iPad. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go back into iPhotos, and these are all the albums that I still currently have. Now, if I remove all these, basically what will happen is that it will put them all um, back in the iCloud. So if I enable that, it says make sure you want to enable iCloud photo uploading all your photos and videos or take some time to the upload status. So if I hit enable, what it will do is it will, as you can see, remove even more. And then we can check the status of what I have for space. About, as you can see, I've got 2.4 gigs of space. You can do this with any app that you want. If you're running iOS 11, you can use this with that. And as you can see, it's going to save all of these up to my iCloud. And depending on how much videos and photos you have, it could take some time. So that's one way of freeing up space by just using iPhotos. If you have a lot of photos on your iPhone devices or Apple or you know pretty much any Apple device you have, you can use this with. So. Um, Again, this is Chris. Thanks for watching, and yeah.